Hey everyone, today we are going to be doing another favorites type of video and this favorites is kind of going to be a mid-year wrap up of my favorites so far from the beginning of 2021 till now. These are going to be all of the products that I have used up this year so far. So everything that I've used up I went through and chose my top 10 favorites from all of the ones that I thought I would repurchase again or said that I would want to purchase um, like if it was a sample size and things like that so let's jump into this the 10 aren't gonna be in any particular order like I'm not gonna have like a top favorite or whatever but uh, I did narrow it down I had more so these are the favorites of the favorites <laughs> that I have used up so far. I'm going to be going down my list that I have here because I don't have every single item. I didn't keep the packaging for it so um, if I don't have the item physically I will have a picture here for you so you can you know visually see what I'm talking about. So the first one that we are going to quickly talk about that is a favorite of mine I don't have so here's the picture um, is the Bath and Body Works body cream and this is the overnight moisture hand cream and they have like other ones that I think are the same I'm not sure because I haven't tried them um, if they're the same consistency um, and moisturization and things like that but I know that there's variation in scents so the one that I got was very moisturizing I don't think it had a scent at all it was thicker and I felt like it helped my skin stay moisturized. I didn't have to reapply it constantly, which is which is why it is a favorite of mine because a lot of moisturizers that I use, I feel like the moisturization kind of goes away after a little while and I have to continually reapply. I do recommend checking it out um, and trying it out yourself. The second favorite is this Catrice Primer. This is the Prime and Fine Aqua Fresh Hydro Primer Brush it up and this is uh, I took this from my little empties bin that I've been collecting of my makeup products um, but this was really really nice it was very moisturizing and it was tacky at the same time but I appreciated that it was like a good mixture of the two as far as the texture the moisturizing this the tackiness of this I absolutely love this it's one of the first primers that I actually can say that I enjoyed and I liked and appreciated um, so this one would be a repurchase for me for sure which made it into the favorites video here is our next favorites that I have and this is the Garnier Fructis micellar water Oh, my cellar cleansing water and this is the all-in-one waterproof one but I also have gone through the pink cap as well as the blue cap one and I like them both so I don't really have much of a preference between the two um, but I currently have but I currently have this one so I figured I would show you this as my example but like I said I have used some of these up already this year so that is why I am talking about it in today's favorites video. I think that this takes off eye makeup really really well. It doesn't irritate my eyes or anything like that. I feel like this does a great job. Sometimes I feel like actual makeup removers are a little too oily and greasy on my eyes but this one I don't think it is even though it obviously is um, you know separate and then you shake it up but I feel like the consistency of this is a lot nicer for me personally I appreciate it I enjoy it and I will continue to repurchase it I obviously have because I have one that I am currently using and I will continue to use this up and I'll probably purchase another one so this is an absolute favorite of mine a must-have I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it out already love 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 this product Clinique moisturizer and yes I have a favorite Clinique moisturizer that I already talked about in a previous video and because I don't want to overlap and repeat anything I'm actually not going to talk about that one but I have another Clinique moisturizer that is an absolute favorite of mine so I'll share that with you and that is this this is actually an empty one um but it's it's yellow and this is the Clinique ID Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. 
I love this. This is an absolute go-to for me. I always have this normally with me. I don't have it right now because I used it up and I have other moisturizers that I'm currently going through, but I will definitely be purchasing this again. And I love this. Always must have. It is very gentle on my skin. It doesn't irritate me. It doesn't break me out. Actually, it helps. Sometimes I feel like when I have a breakout, it helps calm my skin down. And it's just the perfect amount of moisture. I have dry skin, but yet it's not overpowering. It's not too moisturizing. It's just enough. Perfect for what my skin needs. Um, so I absolutely love this product. I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it already. So check it out. Alright, favorite number five is a hair care product. And this is the Ava NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 primer and I feel like I've talked about this recently maybe it was in an empties and that's why I'm thinking of it um, but this is just like a little travel size and I would 100% buy the full size this was really really good I might wait for a sale I'm not sure I can't recall the price of this one um, but it worked absolutely amazing I loved the scent I loved the way that it detangled my hair super quickly that it left my hair it didn't feel greasy but it felt soft and um, yeah, this was pretty darn good hair product. I recommend checking this one out if you haven't already. Next product is some makeup remover wipes actually, and these are the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes. This is the one in the blue packaging. I think this is like the original one. And I have like a little travel size here, and that's actually what I used up previously as well within this year so far. Um, I don't usually make a habit of purchasing these, but because I needed to get to a certain dollar amount in my shopping cart, uh, I did pick up a few of these. So I do have another one. I don't really like to use these unless I need to, but when I do use them, I think they work very, very well for a makeup removing towelette. Um, I feel like they're not too harsh on my eyes and they do take off the makeup very well and easily and they are pretty saturated in here, which is really nice. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I do think that these work amazing um, for what they are. Again, I don't particularly think this is the best way to take off your makeup, but it does work well if, you, if you're if you in a pinch or if you, you need to use something like this. So I do recommend them. My next favorite is a body scrub. If you've seen some of my recent videos, like my Project Pan empties, things like that, so you will have seen this guy. I love this uh, body scrub. It's gentle, but it's it's exfoliating, and I absolutely love that. Also, it smells great. Um, this is their exfoliating body polish, and this one in particular, the one that I used up, is the crushed macadamia and rice milk one, and I'm actually using another one right now, and it's the kiwi one. I can't remember what else, but it's kiwi something, and I'm really enjoying that one as well. So I'm putting this in as a favorite, but I'm actually putting the product itself in as a favorite. I I like all the scents that I've tried so far. So um, and I would repurchase any of them, even this one. It's it's really good. Um, but yeah, it's it's great. It's not overly abrasive, but it it gets the job done. And these smell so good. Both of them do. This one, oh, this one just smells. Oh, I just I just love this scent so 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 much. Um, and the Kiwi one smells amazing as well. So I've used this up. I'm currently using another one and I have a backup. <laughs> so you know I love this product. So it had to be in this favorites video. Next favorite is a makeup remover. And this is by Lancome. And this is their Bifacil Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. And as you can see, this is an empty one. Um, I have used this up hence why it's in this video and I would purchase this again pretty much only if it's on sale though because it is a bit pricey uh, and I really really like it it's it's really good um, and it's gentle on my eyes it's slightly more greasy than the Garnier micellar water um, but it does a slightly better job actually at removing everything I feel like Actually, with both of them, I feel like I don't have to go in like in the morning as much with a Q-tip and get off any extra makeup that was left over. I don't have to do that very often. It is gentle on my eyes, and it also didn't sting my eyes either, so that's a good thing. This is another favorite of mine, and if you haven't tried it, 
I recommend it. Next product is actually a sheet mask and this is my favorite sheet mask that I have used recently uh, and this is the uh, this brand aloe soothing facial mask and I got this from TJ Maxx in like a set of like 10 of them or something I absolutely love this and I would repurchase it if I can find it again I know sometimes at TJ Maxx and stuff you can't always find the same thing again um, but if you can find this pick it up I think it's worth it, especially if you've been out in the sun all day, if you have any sunburns, um, if you struggle with redness on your face. I just think that this calms your skin down so, so well, and I absolutely love this. I use it as a sheet mask, and then I also use whatever essence is left over in here for the next day. Last product for my favorites, my absolute top 10 favorites that I have used up within this year so far within the first six months um, this is the last one I'm going to talk about this is a makeup product I think this is oh no no, no. we had the primer at first so this is a, the other makeup product um, that is a favorite of mine and this is the it cosmetics superhero liner I know I recently talked about this it was either in an empty yeah I think it was in my most recent empties and I've used this actually for a couple of months and this is just like a little uh deluxe size travel size one absolutely loved it when I'm super super smooth it was so easy to apply it was super dark and black I can't remember if it was shiny or not I don't remember um but I absolutely loved this this is something I would consider picking up again just because it was that amazing um I finally had to let it go because it wasn't coming out very well and I could only do one eye <laughs> So that told me it was time for it to go, but I, I didn't want to let it go. Like this stuff is really, really good. I recommend checking it out. I think you would like it too. Uh, I'm not a huge liquid eyeliner person, but I think this kind of made me like liquid eyeliners um, and I kind of miss it. I'm not using a liquid eyeliner right now and um, I'm missing this product. <laughs> so I know it's a favorite of mine. If you have tried any of these products, let me know down below. Are they your favorites? Do you have other favorites that you prefer? What is your number one favorite product right now? Let me know. I'm, I want to know. I'm interested. Maybe I can check it out, try it out. Maybe I've tried it already before. Maybe it's one of my favorites. Um, I love hearing from you guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more and I will see you all next time. Don't forget to stay tuned for my next video which will be my mid-year fails. So this was all my favorites and the next video will be my top 10 fails. My bottom 10 items that I have tried and used up this year. Alright, I'll see you all later. Bye.